Hey guys, um, this is going to be a yet another detour, um, detour and yet another detour, <laughs> definitely not moving in a straight line, but this is related to um, the whole enlightenment stuff. It's just that in light of recent events, I figure that what's going, been going on recently is a good, this is a good opportunity for me to explain something that I've been wanting to explain before. And I might have hinted at it in other videos, but I don't think I actually said it. So, um, let me get on with this, um, and I hope it's, uh, some of you guys are going to disagree with this, I am sure. Some of you guys are not going to like this at all. And some of you may want to look further into it. I'm hoping that you guys at least, yeah, take what I'm going to say with a grain of salt, but I want you guys to do the research on this, because I think it's important. And it may finally stop some of the dumb questions that I get, particularly why do they do stuff like this? Um, let me get on with this. Basically, I know that my subscribers tend to be what I consider the free thinking sort. For lack of a better term, we're called free thinkers and such. So I know you guys pay attention to the news. And especially you don't like following propaganda, you like trying to um, follow the real news, whether it's the actual YouTube channel real news or just real news, period. So I am sure that you guys already know about the whole stimulus package being passed, and you probably aren't too happy about it. And you guys probably know that the auto industry is already asking for, I think, about $14 billion more dollars. On top of that, they're also planning to cut thousands of jobs and they're moving these jobs overseas. Now, if you're American, this is probably pissing you the fuck off. To put it lightly. <laughs> and I am pretty sure if you guys make YouTube videos, you're probably already doing a video or have already done a video about this. I already know I've seen a couple. And, um,. You probably are ranting and raving about how messed up the once again the government's fucking up. You knew this was gonna happen. You warned people Obama wasn't gonna change shit. You know the usual. Now this little recording I'm doing right now is not gonna be one of those fuck the government type of videos, and I'm not gonna be talking about the political system or, at all. I'm using this as an opportunity. What I'm gonna be using this as an opportunity for is to talk about morality. No, this isn't going to be like my other video on morality where I talk about how morality is actually an illusion. No, this is actually more going to be on the fact that there are actually different morality systems that are being followed at this point in time. And you might think, of course there's different morality systems, you know, but there's different religions. This person believes this, but no, 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 you don't understand. It's not about different religions. It's about what people deem good and bad and what's right to do. And believe it or not, they're operating under, the powers that be are operating under a completely different set of rules. And as far as enlightenment goes and like the old stuff that sages and Taoism or Buddhism and all that used to say, they knew about this shit and they were trying to tell you about it. Well, at least some of them did. That's why they became hermits. Don't understand? Allow me to continue. Though, I also want to, you probably have noticed there's some links on the sidebar. I want you guys, when you get the chance, to click on those links because they're important. They may not seem related at all to what I'm saying, but I actually think that if you watch them, not only will you learn something that you really do need to freaking learn, but it will help to, for you to understand what I'm trying to say. And yeah, I know it's cut in eight parts, but watch them anyway. You might have heard of a guy named Albert Allen Bartlett. Um, Dr. Allen Al uh, Albert Allen Bartlett. Um, he's well known for giving classes and lectures on what he considers the problems with exponential growth and overpopulation. He's actually famous for stating that the greatest shortcoming of the human race is our inability to understand the exponential function. In other words, how this can fuck us over after a long period of time. And he considers overpopulation and our constant exponentially growing use of resources to be a major problem that we must face. Now he's become a bit infamous in certain circles because many people think that he's advocating things like depopulation programs 
and euthanasia and all those other things, which he's not at all stating, but I don't want to get into that. I do want you guys to watch the video because I think it's something that you guys need to notice, but I want you guys to start thinking about leaders when they face problems like this. See, one thing I have to tell you about leaders of nations and such. Yeah, it's true what I said before that most of them who aspire for power are straight up jackasses who just simply want to lead people and all that. But they're not stupid. Or at least they at least try to have people around them who aren't stupid. Well, for the most part, anyway. I know they're exceptions. Boy, have we seen exceptions. But they aren't all that dumb. They do think about things like overpopulation and how to keep society going and how to keep civilization from falling apart. But it isn't because of any altruistic um, notions and it isn't out of any sense of nobility or the fact that they care about you or care about what will happen to you if society falls. No, it's because they want to keep things going. They want to maintain the status quo. They want society to move along because if it crumbles, then what's going to happen to their standard of living? Not your standard of living, their standard of living. This is one of the main, this is what I'm trying to tell you about when I've seen they're under a different set of rules and different rally. They follow different rules than you do. And one of the major rules they follow is that they must maintain status quo. The nobles must remain nobles. Nothing can fuck that up. See, you and I operate under a different set of rules. We have more, shall we say, humanistic morality systems. We're taught things like life is sacred and then and, and love thy neighbor and don't steal, don't kill, treat each other like the way you'd want to be treated and so on. And the leaders themselves are the ones who teach us this stuff. And for the most part, we try to follow. I mean, we really don't follow that, but we try to anyway. Like the stereotypical fanatical Christian, you know, they'll talk about, they'll treat people like abstracts. I mean, they'll talk about the sinners and the unbelievers and them bar homosexuals, but when they deal with you face to face, unless they're completely fucked up, they won't, you know, they will treat you like another person with wants and desires and needs and so on. Leaders don't do that. They don't think that way. They don't see you as an equal if you're not in the same pay rate grade or the same power structure that they're in. You're not, they don't see you as someone with wants and desires. To them, you're just a number. You're an abstract. You're units. You're abstract problems that need to be worked with and solved and dealt with in order for them to maintain their standard of living. It's nothing to them if, say, thousands of you die as long as society functions. This is why, to, you know, things like secret programs and, and like just the type of shit that you sometimes hear in the craziest conspiracy theories it doesn't phase them. They can do these decisions because they don't care. So maybe now you guys will stop wondering why, say, the CEOs of GM, of GM and Ford and whatever don't see anything wrong or shameful in asking for even more billions of dollars while they cut your jobs. Now you and I might say, well why the fuck won't you guys cut your own damn salaries to maintain your company instead of fucking us over? And they might give you some song and dance about, well even if we did that, there's not enough money to maintain the company, you don't know, understand the economics, blah blah blah, but no, that's not what they believe. But they're actually, what they're actually thinking to themselves is, why the fuck should I cut my salary? This is my privilege. This is my right to have these millions. You guys are supposed to help me maintain this shit. I mean, that was part of the contract. I mean, hell, you should feel privileged that you're working in my company in the first place. This is my lifestyle. I have to maintain the standard of living. I have to maintain the ability to live in this mansion and fly in these jets. You can't dictate that. You can't take that from me. That's my right as being in this class of, of people and being in this social status. Leaders feel the same way. It's nothing for them to get rid of you as long as it maintains their um, power or this that um, this sense of influence. It's nothing to them. The sages knew this. This is one of the reasons why they left society in the first place, because they didn't want to play the game. They understood that the higher up you go in the human food chain, the more rules change, and you start noticing that they're able to do things that will make us go, oh my god, what the fuck, what, the, what kind of person are you, how could you sleep at night? They sleep very well, because they don't, they are not under the same morality standards, and they don't think they should be held up to that. 
from the cradles. I mean, they're born not understanding the differences. Now, you guys might disagree with me. I'm sure many of you are. But trust me, the leaders don't think the same way you do. They don't have the same concept of morality that you do. It's not how they were raised. You're going to find, if you've been paying attention, that society, and especially civilization, is not all it's cracked up to be. There are certain ugly truths that keep it going. And if you guys even want to have a, even the, the slightest chance of being able to change things, you need to understand those rules quickly, or you aren't going to get anywhere.